Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from TeamTennis.fr, a former tennis coach in France. I sometimes make racket reviews in English and in this video, I'm going to make a review of this racket. This is the new Wilson Blade 98 string pattern 16 by 19 to the Blade version 7. I'm going to talk to you about this racket. First of all, I let you watch a part of a training session I did with the racket. Allez, un peu de choc. Alors on va, on, va, on va frapper un petit peu en revers là, on y va. Allez, on va voir un peu ce que ça donne en coup droit. On va vite fait avec la Yonex V Corsa. Allez. C'est plus puissant. Ça c'est plus puissant, ça prend mieux le lift ça. Un petit coup de clash sans. Okay, we're going to talk about this racket before I start. For your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe. I have a partnership with this website and it's very nice from you if you use my affiliate link to buy at Tennis Warehouse, uh, Warehouse Europe. Doing so, you will help me publish more and more videos in English. I have a French channel where I publish most of my videos and I want to try to publish more and more in English. So it's very nice if you use my affiliate link. You can find it uh, if you click on the little eye here. You can also find it in the description under the video. And you can also use the address that appears directly on the video. Thank you. Okay, let's go. We talk about the racket and we are going to start with the specification of the racket. Then I talk to you about my feelings on the court. The string on the racket, it's a Wilson Revolve, 1.25 millimeters, tension 24 kilograms. The weight of the racket, 305 grams unstrung, almost the same as the previous version, because on the previous version it was 304 grams unstrung, really almost the same. You're not going to feel the difference. 
The balance of the racket, there is an interesting and important difference. On the previous version, the balance was at 32.5 mm unstrung. Uh, the racket was a bit head heavy, something personally I didn't like. And on this racket, the balance is at 32 cm. So the balance is more neutral and it's going to increase the maneuverability of the racket. And that's something really interesting, something I really like. Concerning the maneuverability of the racket, the swing weight is 323. But this racket has a good maneuverability. Head size of the racket, the same as the previous version, 98 squared inch, 632 squared centimeters and uh, this racket has a string pattern of 16 by 19. Beam width of the racket, 21 mm all along the frame, the same as the previous version, it's rather thin, so it's going to increase the control of the racket and reduce the power of the racket. Stiffness of the racket, there is a difference. Uh, stiffness 62, on the previous version it was 66, so the racket is more flexible, it's going to increase the comfort, but also it's going to reduce the power of the racket. So besides the difference concerning the balance, the stiffness of the racket, there is also a difference concerning the technology which is used on this racket. On the previous version, um, there was the technology countervail, a technology that really absorbs the vibrations, it gives a muted feeling at impact. Some players liked that feeling, some others didn't like. Anyway, it's over now, no more countervail on this version. Now there is a technology which is called Feelflex that appeared with the Wilson Clash, a technology, uh, technology that allows the frame to bend in multiple directions in order to adapt to any kind of game style, flat shot, top spin game. So no more countervail, but the racket is still very comfortable but with a different feeling. There is a soft feeling, but no muted sensation when you hit the ball, like the one you had with the counter veil. I also read the information that the grip was a bit longer than on the previous version, in order to give some more space uh, to the players with a two-handed backhand. So uh, I didn't have this feeling, I measured the grip. Uh, the grip length is 18 cm, you can compare with your racket. For me, it's a length which is uh, very regular, nothing special concerning the length of the racket. So this information is uh, kind of a mystery for me. So you know the length of the grip, 18 cm, and you can compare with your racket. Okay, so now we are going to talk about my feelings on the court, and I'm going to start with the power of the racket. The Wilson Blade has always been a control-oriented racket. It remains the same with this new version of the blade. And I would say even more than before because I find, the, I find uh, this version a bit less powerful than the previous version. In my opinion, the players who were used to the previous version of the blade will feel the difference in terms of power with this new version. I think the racket has less power because of the stiffness which is lower and maybe because of the use of the technology Feel Flex. I had enough power on my slice backhand, but it's not a shot that requires a lot of power. It was a bit more difficult on my top spin backhand, top spin forehand. I was able to produce some good shots, but um, I had to be very please, uh, precise to center the ball, to be very fluid in my swings, which is not always the case on my forehand. And at the end of the session, it became more and more difficult uh, for me to get enough power from this racket. And uh, it's even more true for my serve, which is a weak shot in my game. So especially on my serve, I, I would really need some more easy power. This racket is going to be interesting for good players with a good technique, fluid swings, able to be precise, to center the ball, and with some good physical skills. Okay, now to help you, I'm going to make some comparisons in terms of power with some other rackets that maybe you already know. So some rackets that are going to be more powerful than this one, I would say the Wilson Clash, any Wilson Clash. The previous Wilson Blade, even with a string pattern 18 by 20, any head racket except the Prestige, uh, Babola, Pure Hero, Pure Drive, Pure Strike 16 by 19, whatever the head size and uh, Technifib t Fight 300. And now some rackets that are going to be less powerful than this blade. I would say the new Wilson blade, but with a string pattern 18 by 20, it's going to be even more control oriented. Uh, any Wilson Pro Staff 97 with a weight above 300 grams and strung, head prestige. Your next ISO 98, I think it's going to be close. 
Your next VCore Pro 97, I haven't tested, but I think it's going to be a, less power, uh, a bit less powerful than this one. Techni 55 305, 315 with a string pattern 18 by 20, and Techni uh, T5 320. On my slice backend, I had a very good feeling, comfort, precision, control, no problem. Uh, concerning the access to top spin, I would say it's correct, but not huge, something close to what we had in the previous version. Not a racket you should choose if you want a huge access to top spin, but the access to top spin is correct. The maneuverability of the racket is very good. I really like, I like the balance, which now is more neutral than before. It increases the maneuverability of the racket. It was very nice for my ground strokes and at the net. Now a word concerning the comfort of the racket, which is very good also. There is no more countervail on this racket, but uh, the racket is still very comfortable. You have a soft feeling at impact, but not a muted feeling uh, like with the countervail, so very nice. On off-centered shots, you lose some power, but it's normal because of the frame of the, the because of the size of the frame, which is rather small. But on off-centered shots, you don't lose much comfort, and that's very nice. Okay, now to summarize for this new version of the Blade 16x19, I would say it is clearly a control-oriented racket even more than before because it's a bit less powerful than the previous version. The access to top spin is good, something to, uh, close to what we had on the previous version. Good access to top spin, but not huge. Very good maneuverability, better than before, and the comfort is also uh, very good even if there is no more countervail. So I would recommend this racket for players who are able to produce some power. You're not going to get a lot of easy power with this racket. Be careful. Beginners, avoid this racket. Players able to produce some power. Players looking for some control. Flat shots or modern game. You hit the ball with some top spin. Looking for some control is going to be interesting. Players looking for a good maneuverability. And players looking for a comfortable racket. This is going to be interesting for you. If you were used to the previous version with the string pattern 18 by 20, I recommend, I recommend you try at least the string pattern 16 by 19. In my opinion, this version in 16 by 19 is less powerful than the previous version with the string pattern 18 by 20. I stop here for this video. Feel free to ask me any question if I have forgotten something. Have fun in your tennis, and I see you very soon in another video. Bye.